Hello everyone, welcome to Furs on Rails. I'm Silverly and this is Tide. This is a new travel series exploring Northern England and Southern Scotland by rail. And the way it works is this. We take in the names of every station within 100 miles of our local station, which is Newcastle. And we put them into a hat. The hat is right here. And basically we pick out a name and wherever we pick out, that's our destination for the next trip. The uh, first place we went to was Bempton in East Yorkshire, uh, where you could see plenty of seabirds and thousands of gannets. So, right, so uh, should we see where we're going next, uh, next little jaunt? Yeah, well, we're here to um, pick out jaunt number two, or destination number two. Mm -hmm. So, we'll see. Go deep. <laughs> one. It's just the one. I think we can't go two oh, places no. at once. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> i still got two. Uh, right. Quite sure I've got one now. Right. It is... Hexham! Hey! Ah! We know this one! <laughs> Reasonably close. He wants to be there, so yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's it. Yeah, <laughs> it is. <laughs> so, uh... Let's go find something to do in Hexham. Do you take a plan? <laughs> So an altogether quicker journey this time, just one train up the Tyne Valley line to Hexham. The journey takes about 40 minutes and costs £9.60 for both of us, and that was with a two-together rail card. Well, hello there and welcome back to Newcastle Central Station. It's Sunday the 11th of October, about half past nine. We've just got our tickets for Hexham. We've got about 25 minutes to wait for our train. Uh, let's go and wait. Okay, so you can see there, 9.55, platform 7, that'll be the train we're getting. Alright, so here we are, platform 7 at Newcastle. Just tilted up, couldn't quite get everything in shot, but just to prove that we are where we say we are. Um, train's just pulled in, class 158 Sprinter, I believe. And it's the only train for going outwards anyway. Um, it's on there about 40 minutes, like I said. Heading back the other way. A nice shot down the tracks and I'll just zoom you in and that's Newcastle Castle. Of course there's a castle in Newcastle. Right we got a train to catch. You say you you say you caught the train already? Hey punch us in. So I should say it's been quite quiet. Yeah to get the table. It's been quite quiet um, around the station. A few people around, but um, it's a Sunday morning. A few departures going further field, London, Edinburgh. And yeah, we're on the train that's eventually get to Carlisle, but we're on there as far as Hexham. Right, he's already settled in. Hello. Uh -huh. Just to give a shot down our carriage. Like it says, uh, class 108 Sprinter. And two carriages. Pretty quiet, but and like I said, this is Sunday morning. This is the northern service to Carlisle. The next stop is Metro Centre. Customers requested to remain vigilant. If you see anything suspicious, please report it to a member of staff or the British Transport Police by a text on 61016. We'll sort it. See, see it. Say it. Sorted. For the protection of everyone, you must wear a face covering that covers your nose and mouth on board trains and at stations at all times, unless you are exempt. Going out over the Tyne again. So one of my two favourite views on this whole stretch from London to Edinburgh. No one being across the Durham. We won't see the Durham one today, unfortunately, because very soon we diverting off East Coast Main Line and going on the branch line across to Carlisle. Unless you go to Edinburgh or Leeds, it's the only way across from one side to the other. And after a short trundle through suburban Gateshead, we've come to our first stop, which is the Metro Centre. Uh, can't see too much of it. But there's a lot of it. Yeah, it's much bigger than that. Let's look at the station, and what we can see anyway. This is Metro Centre. Indeed it is. Just pulling into Bladen. There we are. 
Very good place to stop. Welcome to Bladen Station, open 1835, home of the Bladen Racers. Mine's not been too picturesque so far. Um, just going through suburban Gateshead. This is Bladen. The next stop Shot is Wyland. Okay, so it's just left Prado, and as you can see, we're getting out in the countryside. Nice little run alongside the Tyne here. A couple of those so far. I'll try and get some other shots on the way back. And yeah, hopefully get some nice countryside coming up. Riding Mill, not a nice archery bridge. Stations are rather close together on this line, only about three or four minutes between each one. Just bring you around here. You get a rat in the shot. Which is for the signs behind you, really. Riding mill. And other various destinations. It's slightly in the way, so I'll go up here. Sunday morning footy it's coming into Corbridge. Nice. Here we are, Corbridge Station. Three really little stations along this stretch of the line. You should be able to see, but each of the stations along here has one of these signs from the Tyne Valley Community Rail Partnership, it's talking about the local area and such. Very nice. And welcome to Hexham, Northumberland. Okay, no surprises where we are right now. We, we made it, so uh, it's about 40 minutes later, and yeah, we're here in Hexham. Built in 1835 by the Newcastle and Carlisle Railway, one of the oldest um, passenger railway stations in the world. Last year had 343,000 entries and exits. And yes, I have done my research. I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> yes, quite a quiet station. There's no one else on this platform, we're on platform two, just us. About half a dozen people on the other side. Uh, it's a two platform station. Just a little quiet. It's so now off the next train, so it's not surprising there's no one else on here but us. <laughs> <laughs> a, few, a few other people got off the train, um, but uh, they, they long since departed into the town, which is. Well, we'll have a look around the station, see what we can find, um, anything of note, and uh, yeah, then we'll make our way there as well. Just a little bit of a sweep round, so that's down the line back towards Newcastle some railway sidings well, we were getting ready for the train we saw these sidings and things and um but we didn't manage to get a shot because we're busy getting off the train oh and the sun's come out lovely day so far there's a large bridge and you can see right down the station on the line back down towards carlisle and yeah, just a couple of the buildings on this side Right, so let's keep having a look around. Hello, Ratty. You made your way to the bridge. Hi, bridge now.
And now there is nobody on this station apart from us. I want to point out a couple of the signs which you've seen. Um, see with the um, coronavirus situation, and I should get that one in as well. Um, various signs, um, advise people to travel off peak, um, pay by contactless, um, wash their hands frequently, uh, just little reminders around. Sign of the times, really. Think you found another poster? This one says to keep your distance, I'm not coming any closer. You yeah. stay over there. Yeah, you, st you stay over there, you plague rat. <laughs> <laughs> So here's one of those boards which I was talking about earlier. See, Hexham has its own one. We'll have a look at the board and see if we find anything of note around these parts. Westwall Station usually has more facilities, but a lot of them seem to be closed at the moment. Well, it being Sunday and um, also as a result of the health situation. So there are toilets, but they're closed at the moment. There's a telephone box, there's a bike rack, there's a ticket machine. Um, there's a vending machine as well, and and a, and a bin that's fallen over, or <laughs> the bag has fallen out of the bin, and several benches. Um, I think it's not accessible to get from one side to the other, um, and, and as it isn't for people with mobility issues, that's over the bridge. Because I did see a sign that says, if you need to get to the other side, um, get in touch with staff. Um, apart from that, just small town station. A few things in the way of facilities. I'm pretty peaceful for Sunday morning. Okay, we go see the town itself then. A uh, view of the station from the outside. Rather nicely kept. That's the way through to the trains. Yeah, nice little station. Yeah, I think someone just scored in their football pitches just behind us. Just get a shot of that. Yeah, we just left the station, crossed the road. A bit confusing to go back over yourselves and then across that zebra crossing and think it's along this narrow path as the main way into town, which isn't ideal, but um, yeah, we'll only be there for a little while. Once I stop filming. Well, when in Hexham, um, get some of the local tipples. So the first thing we've done is we've gone into local Waitrose and yeah, we've got some of the Fentiman's Curiosity Cola. So. That should keep us refreshed for a little while at least. Mine. And mine. Mine. And mine. You have little. Okay, so here we are in Hexham Marketplace. Um, seems to be where most things are happening. So that's the old jail, I believe. Around here you see the old form cinemas, now Weatherspoons. A few shops. Oh, a nice cross. You see the cross up there. Background of the Abbey is a bit obscured by trees, we'll get a better shot at in a minute. And just bring it around and see some of the covered market over there. Fish and chips. <laughs> Might end up there later on. But yeah, a bit of a covered market. Market was on Saturday, um, but the weather wasn't so great, so we've come here on a Sunday. But we may return and do the market at some other point in the future. Yeah, maybe. All right, let's find something else to do then. Oh dear, look what I found. I bad rat. Here, you know. Bad rat. <laughs> Very bad rats. <laughs> yeah, we found these pillories just by the um, old jail. Uh, it also seems to be closed, but uh, I said we find ways to entertain ourselves. Help. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of the day. Right, I'm going back to Waitrose to see if they've got any rotten tomatoes. <laughs> Actually, no, that's, that, that would be me, wouldn't it? <laughs> Put a rotten tomato with me, that would be my nightmare. Okay, so we've just finished looking around the Abbey. This is the old town. Some Northumberland flags out. And then coming on a Sunday, pretty much everything seems to be closed. I mean, you know, it'd be nice to go in some places, but at least it's peaceful around here. Now we're going to try to find some food now.
it's coming up to one o'clock. Definitely non time. Yeah. <laughs> Right, here's something of particular interest to me. Airs of Hexham. Okay, so time's now ten past two, and we've just been for lunch here at the Bunters Coffee Shop. Uh, it's just opposite from the old jail. I'm not going to swing the camera around uh, anything, give everyone uh, motion sickness, um, but that's where it is, just um, right in the, in the town centre. Nice little place. There's some toasted sandwiches and, and scones, cheese scones. Yes, and, and you had you had a scone. <laughs> and we got to get some ice cream and then um, go for a bit of a walk and see what there is a little bit further afield in the town. Okay, so as you can see, we stopped for ice cream here. Molly Moo's. It's a chucky wocky doo da. <laughs> My ice cream is vanishing rapidly. And your ice cream is. Well, there's still some there, but. <laughs> Actually, yeah, that's a good shot as well because you can see in the window all the all the pictures, all the things that they offer. <laughs> I am looking forward to this. Yeah. Money well spent. Yeah, uh, no. Oh. No. <laughs> no. You, you, you fall over. You fall over the chairs. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'll put this away and um, eat this before it melts. Good move. <laughs> What's that I see in the distance? More ice cream! It's <laughs> just one minute since we last had ice cream. But ice cream, this way. <laughs> oh, oh, your face is big in this. <laughs> <laughs> squirrel! It's a grey squirrel, but it's a squirrel nonetheless. Here we are at the Fox Pub. I don't know about you, but that looks quite painful. I rather like that little design of their logo. Kind of minimalist and rather nice. So yeah, get the retro back in shot. There we are. Foxy. <laughs> Little babbling brook. And these columns. And look where our wanderings have led us. More two ice more. Cream. I just said at the same time. Three, two, one. More, more ice cream. cream. <laughs> okay, so we found the welcome Hexham sign. Just as we're heading towards the station, heading back to leave. Thought we'd get a shot of ourselves in this. Um, rats are hovering over my left shoulder. Um, I guess we head towards the station then, and uh, yeah. And here we are back in Newcastle. So we're gonna go off and get our metro and go get some tea and yeah, just relax after a nice little day out. So we'll see you again next time. Wherever we're going, we don't know yet. And we'll be doing the draw for that very soon. The hat will tell us. It will indeed, yeah. <laughs> uh, we'll have to see with regards to weather as well, um, how soon we can do that. Because um, we're getting into October. October in this part of the world can be quite changeable, but like I said, we'll see how things go. But anyway, Thank you for watching and goodbye. Bye. <laughs>